Welcome to this Solid Mastermind top tip for Solid Edge. Before we start, remember you can access many more of these great videos by registering for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com. In this session, we'll look at how we can use styles to automatically control the look of dimensions as we place them on different types of geometry in our drawing. Quite often, depending on which standards we use, it is required to align our dimension text in different ways, depending on whether we are placing linear dimensions or radial dimensions. For instance, if we dimension this line, the dimension text is in line or parallel to the dimension line, since the style we are using is set up that way. If we then use the same style to dimension this circle, once again the text is aligned with the dimension line. However, if we wanted to place radial dimensions that have their text horizontal instead, then we would typically create a new style that has the text set up that way. Here is our original style with the text set as parallel. And here is our new dimension style for radial dimensions with a text set as horizontal. Now when we place radial dimensions, we can choose this style so that they look like we want them to. To save having to switch between the different styles all the time, Solid Edge has a way of automatically choosing which style to use based on the different element types that are selected. To set this we need to access the Solid Edge Options dialog and then choose the Dimension Style section. Here we can make sure our linear elements are going to use the ISO style and that the radial element types use the other ISO RAD style. Then we can check the Use Dimension Style Mapping option. Now when we choose any dimension command, the style option is greyed out. This is because the dimension mapping has taken over. When we pick different element types to dimension, the styles will change accordingly. If we ever want to override the automatic style mapping, we can simply hit the toggle button to the left of the style drop down, and then toggle it back on afterwards. If you liked this video, please comment on it using the space below. And remember, to access many more of these great Solid Edge videos, please register for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com.